Hey, this is Suzanne Tickenmeyer of No Longer Quivering. I want to talk today a little bit of post-wedding. We've all seen the pictures now. Nori was lovely. I was glad to see that she laid a light hand on the makeup and the hair. Her dress was not anything as bad as I feared. I feared she would have the kind of dress I had for my wedding, which is basically I look like a frosted cupcake because of this huge wide skirt with a hoop skirt and these giant puff sleeves. I'm too short and too busty to get away with that, but I did for my wedding. But it was the 80s. I even had a magnificent mullet. I have to load a picture up. Her dress was actually kind of pretty. It was way better than I expected, knowing that Jill had supposedly bought it for her when she was 13. It was lovely. So I had to go from that to finishing up reading the very end of Lori Alexander's husband, Ken's unboxed thing. He took it from a book, a business book on leadership plagiarized bits of it for his thing, but mostly he um, added in his fundamentalist spin on everything. If I could take that book, Nuri and Nathan's recent wedding, and give them wedding advice, I would say marriage advice. There are two very important things in marriage that book neglects. I mean, not that book, that his article neglects. And most of the time it's missed in uh, Quiverful too. That thing would be talk, talk to each other, talk to each other about everything, discuss it, don't hide things, just talk about it, just talk about it, it'll always be better than you fear it will, than you're afraid it will be, it's always better to do that, always, even the difficult stuff, and the other thing besides um, talking, <sighs> treat each other kindly, I mean, to me, that's the most important thing. You treat each other kindly, you keep short offense lists, and you talk. If you do that, you'll be fine. And I hope you are fine. I hope you guys have a wonderful marriage, life. You don't end up with giant piles of Kit Kats like David. You don't end up with years and years of recriminations and picky faults with each other like the Alexanders did. Just love each other and talk. I'll see all you guys later in the week, I guess.